Question of the day, what's the type of game that you would love to see made into a solo game? Would it be engine building? Would it be a miniatures fighting game? Would it be a card game, uh, deck exploration sort of deal? What would you like to see into a solo, quick, fast version? Because today we're talking about Palm Island. This is a tiny game right here. It fits almost in the palm of my giant mitt, but it's all about building your civilization on an island in the palm of your hand. So we're gonna take a look at what comes in this, how to play it, what you need to do, and all such as that right now. So here's what Palm Island looks like. Palm Island is in fact a game that is played in the hands with cards. This is the plastic card edition. I assume you could play this in the pool if you wanted to. Uh, let's take a look at how it plays, what you do right now. So you take your deck, make sure that the symbol up here is in the top left because there's four ways to look at each of these cards. There's this side, this side, this side, and this side. So naturally you want to make sure that starting the game that all of them have the little symbol in the top. Make sure you have one deck with just 17 cards of a certain color. You're going to shuffle this deck up. Boy, they are plasticky cards too, so you definitely could play this in the rain, in the pool, just, just anywhere, honestly, and it's, uh, it's fascinating. So you take this and make sure that you have a round tracker card, which would be this one here. It goes to the back of the deck, or you can leave it on the table depending on how you're playing. If you're playing on the go, you can just put it at the back of your deck. When you get to this, you then know that you've hit the end of the round. You're going to play eight rounds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and then score. Basically, you're doing like the pin game or the uh, golf pin game at uh, Cracker Barrel to where it's, or the golf tee game, I should say, you know, Ignoramus and all this sort of stuff, trying to score. Now, what you're going to be doing on your turn is you can only ever look at the top two cards of your deck. So currently, I have these two things available for me. And it's only the active side is only the side face up. So there are certain actions you could do in your hand. So for instance, let's say these are the top two cards of my deck. I could either rotate or uh, flip one of these cards paying these costs. So say, well, where do these resources come from? Uh, a wood and a fish or a wood, a fish and a two stone. The third action is storing. So that means you could store this card. You can only ever have three stored, or three or four stored, I believe it's three. Stored, and when you do, you take the card and you rotate it sideways and then put it to the back of the deck. Now you have one fish there. And you can spin that whenever you want to. So, for instance, let's just say I have this stored here. I have a fish and a wood stored. I could then rotate this one, boom, to get this one. Now it's worth one point. Now, let's just say, so once I've spent those, obviously I flip those back up. Let's just say I had the resources to flip this one to the other side, though. I'd spend another wood, another fish, and another stone. I would then flip the card over, orienting it to the side here. So now we have one more time. This one's worth three points, and it's a level two. If I then spend the two wood, the two fish, and the two stone, flip this, it's now worth six points. So the whole point is you're getting points by using these actions, using the resources to get the most points by the end of the eight rounds. That is how you play, period. There's also a feat section where you basically you can earn these feats to add into the beginning of the game once you earn them. It's kind of like an, a checklist or a um, an achievement system that actually benefits you to do it when you play this game solo quite a bit. So cool little deal there. So that's it, that's Palm Island. Now, here's what's really cool about this. It's meant to be played in your hands. Now, because it's 2020, I feel like there's someone gonna scold in the comments, well, Brian, what about people who can't hold it in their hand? Very true. Best part is you don't have to play it in your hand. You can play it on the tabletop, so no worries there. You play this game in your hands, you take the cards and you try to beat a certain score. Sure, you can play it multiplayer, but really, ideally, it's meant to be played solo and try to get that score that you want. It's a really great brain burny puzzle in which you're thinking, hey, do I want to rotate? Do I want to flip this? Do I want to turn it around? Do I want to build it? Do I want to get this, um, uh, this, this resource that I can use to be, use a better card later? Or do I want to just hold on to it as a resource. You know, it's all kinds of cool concepts and thinking. And it's, it's just great the way it's sitting in your hand. You look down and you have this awesome looking game in your hand like this that you're literally seeing your civilization acting one card at a time. Boom, okay, let's move that one to the back. Okay, now I have access to this. Well, it costs two fish, perfect. I can spend the two fish that I have here in order to use this action. So I really like the way that you're powering up the actions by flipping them in your hand, turning them maybe front and back. They're, they're double-sided, so you get the benefits of both sides. Uh, you get victory points you know, by the more you get. Just a really brilliant concept in my mind. So Palm Island, it's not 
it's not very big. You can throw it in your bag. You can throw it in your everyday bag. And if you're at your lunch break, you can take a quick, very brain burning game, puzzly game, all about building your civilization in the palm of your hand. So. I can't say enough good things about this because the art looks great, the little box is great. Um, just, just it, It's rare to come across things like this that you don't just go, oh, it's kind of a gimmick. No, it, it is a gimmick, yes, but the gimmick does its job. It actually makes it where it's useful to hold them in your hands or, or on the table. It's useful to do that. Like You can see what you're doing right in front of you. There's no like, oh, do I need to get into the box? And, oh, how much does that enemy do? No, the whole game is right there, ready to go. Not enough good things to say about this. Really, really cool. Plays very fast. Get your hands on a copy of Palm Island. See what it did there? And, uh, and let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm Brian Drake here on the Dice Tower. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, at Dice Tower Brian. If you're on the cruise, come say hello. Let's play a game. Until next time, we'll see you. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.